Hey guys, welcome back to Critical Flick. Today I'm going to be talking about episode 4 of Years and Years on HBO. So we had some really big moments in this episode. This episode really tackled some of the more big hot button issues that are going on in politics. Did in a lot more intense in your face way. The show always kind of skirted around some things. It doesn't really overtly decide to be knock you over the head political about it. But in this episode they tackled certain things like fake news and even deep fakes, and I thought it was very topical. I thought it was something that I didn't expect the show to go in that direction. And the show does some of these political things while still having it be, you know, a family drama at its core. You're still having the family dealing with the issues. You have Stephen's infidelity coming to the forefront. You're having Daniel trying to get Victor back to the UK after being kind of trapped in France and Spain. And that's where things get really dark and really, you know, in your face about this. And it kind of feels timely because in this episode you're seeing, you know, if you haven't seen the episode, obviously it's a spoiler, but you see that Daniel dies because of them trying to cross across from France into the UK and the boat sinks and Victor survives, but unfortunately Daniel dies from drowning. That kind of obviously sparks images and thoughts of, you know, you know, the image that was going around at the southern border of the United States. So I know the show was obviously filmed before that photo came out, but it felt very comparable. It felt very impactful. And I think it made that individual scene that much more impactful even though obviously this is a fictional story and is nothing compared to that but you can you feel that connection like i said about the deep fakes i feel like that's incredibly topical we hear more and more about how that could be used as something a tool by someone to influence elections or public opinion you even seen the deep fake app that came out that had to be taken down immediately because it just caused too many problems so seeing that in the show seeing it actually being utilized the way that people would fear it would be utilized it's pretty impactful as well. Like I said in all the previous videos, this show does a really good job of coming back to the family. Even though we have these big hot button issues going on and being tackled in this fictional way, it always comes back to the family and their relationships. And like I said, with Steven and being gone from his infidelity, having these differences in opinions and they're all in different places in their lives, when they all find out that Daniel had died, they all come together. They instinctually come together as a family and you're seeing that that connection they all have. Even through all this, all the big changes in the world, at the end of the day, they're all family and they always have each other's back regardless of their personal differences. And I thought that was one of the most impactful moments of the show. When you're seeing them all get in their cars and drive to Victor and just want to be there to help him and he's not answering and you feel like your heart and your throat as things are building up, you want to know what's going to happen and then it cuts to black. I think that was really well done. I think the script in the show is, for the most part, very well done. I think they handle the political issues that they want to spotlight, and they do it without it being too overt, without being too extremely obvious what they're trying to do. I do know it leans in the left direction, and it is obviously taking jabs at isolationism and immigration and all these other things that go on, but I think it does it in a fairly smart way. So at the end of the day, I think this was a really good episode. I Like I've said in the previous few episodes I reviewed, I thought the show was going to be a lot more ridiculous. I thought it was going to be more like Twilight Zone, more like Black Mirror, and it feels far more grounded. It feels more like something that is trying to give a more accurate depiction of the way things could go without being so over the top and insane. You're seeing things happen how you could see them happen. They don't feel like it's overnight, kind of like a Handmaid's Tale type thing. It's something that is slowly progressing, and you're seeing things slowly devolve globally while still dealing with this family drama, which makes you feel more connected. You feel connected to all these characters. You feel impacted by the things that happen to them, and you understand their decisions. And I think that's really well done when it comes to acting, when it comes to the script writing for the show. So I'm interested to see where it goes. I really think that it's one of those shows that if it sticks to what it's doing, it could be really, really good. I don't want it to go totally insane over the top, because I think it'll take back a little bit from it. So that's my thoughts on this episode of Years and Years. How did you feel about it? Do you still like it? Is it a show that bothers you with its politicalness and what it's going for? I understand that if you are leaning more towards the conservative side, you might not like what it's doing. It's very obvious what it's trying to do at times. And I obviously don't really want to talk about politics, but is it something that, you know, bothers you? Do you like what it's doing? Do you not like what it's doing? Do you think it handles it in a more realistic and smart way? So that's something that I would like to see in the comments down below. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe, and see you next time.